Hi everyone. So welcome back. And my name is Shamin. And this tutorial, we are going to design the whole terrain. Okay. So let's head to the terrain part. Okay. So here, as you can see, there are five buttons. So this one will be about the neighbor terrain. This is creating edges here. That's not what we are doing here. And the paint part where you get to paint the holes, paint the texture, paint, set your terrain, and maybe smooth your terrain. Okay. And this one is to add trees where you, you can see in my previous tutorial where I added some trees over there. Okay. And this will be the paint, which is actually quite similar to what we are doing now. And this is the settings. Okay. So let us uh, try to build a hill right here. Okay. So for now, let us uh, try to increase the brush, brush size, maybe to... Uh, Okay, this is to smooth it, to smooth the height. Okay, but however, we are going to raise it, so let's just build it up. Hey, hold on, sorry. Okay, it's okay you, are, you don't do like me, but we just are testing as well. Okay, so your terrain will be something like this. So next, so you want to actually color it, okay? So that day during the introduction of Asset Store, I actually added some colors for you. So from here, we paint the texture. So now it is in the default standard, which is this color. So now we add layer, go to Edit Terrain and Layers, and uh, look for anything that has color. Actually, supposedly there's something like this below, but now we can just uh, test it out. Okay, so now it is in this color. However, we add another one, which is the rocks. Okay, so we select this color and paint the fill. See that colorful. Okay, so if you are uh, interested to understand why people can produce this, you can look up for people who are doing it. Lah. So there are many ways to bring in things here. There are some they use uh, 16 cameras, as in taking a real, real texture of the tree. And then the artists who use Blender to do it. Okay, so right now because we are beginner, we try to uh, use the resource that we have. Okay, so now after you have built the terrain, so we are going to add some trees. Okay, so from here, just now we are at this paintbrush, right? Let's head to the paint tree section. Okay, so right now there's no trees. So we add some trees and here from this part, as you see this button at the tree prefab here, okay, let's press this and you see there are many kinds of trees that is available here. So I will just choose one and then, okay, let us add in inside, okay. So there's some adjustment you can do. If you want to like actually uh, add less, you can go to the tree density, then adjust the brush, brush size as well. Okay, so I'm going to add 10 trees per brush. Okay. So uh, it will take some time to actually load all the trees here. Okay. 
So later you will see there are trees after some time. But if you want to see there's a full effect, you can increase the intensity of the density of the tree. Okay, like that, as I showed to you. Okay. So let us increase the color variation. Then from here, you even can erase it okay so how to erase okay yes you can here you already told you the whole shift and click the erase the trees okay even for terrain itself you go ahead to terrain and there's this called raise and lower so the term of like undo your work is to hold and shift and left click your trees like that. Okay, it's a, it's a similar method. Okay, but keep in mind that you only can do this at the selected uh, section of the settings. Okay, mm, so like if you if you want to know more, you just go to asset store. Or uh, YouTube to find uh, YouTubers that are actually doing VR scene that is consists of various kinds of art that had produced from other artists as well. Okay, so for example, just that day I taught you guys to search for the forest VR. Okay, so I will choose free forest so because we are in budget, okay. free forest. Then, uh, hold on a sec. Okay, this is for 2D one because we are doing 3D. Okay, we just uh, look at this part. Okay. This is just sample. Okay, mostly you can get all this from Sketchfab or any websites that uh, produce Unity things which is in object or any files that are related okay so for now we are done with this okay so you will be anxious about this how I can change the view of this thing okay I will give that one so to add skybox, okay. So let's head to okay. Let us head to the main camera, okay. And you see that there's a few things that we need to do. So you may wondering how come this is so dark because we actually didn't add the directional light. Okay, there are a few lights that you can try. So I just choose the directional light as it is a like a sun, you know, where it choose the position to adjust the lighting. So you guys can actually uh, try on on how to change your lighting. So you see, as you can see from the trees, you adjust the lighting. So at, if it's too direct, you will see it's getting brighter. And if you turn this side, it will be like this, have a shadow effect. Okay. So it's, uh, it's very nice now. So now we're going to add the skybox, which is actually changing this into a beautiful view. So there are a few ways you can add the skybox. First thing will be go to this to find skybox okay see as you can see there's a lot of things that you can put uh, this is one of them okay but in the meantime the file that we had downloaded already have skybox is right here as a clear sky 
Okay, so how to add? Let's head to main camera. Okay, and go to add component here and add skybox. Okay, so here you just drag in here the clear sky. As you can see, the whole place is very beautiful with the sky. Okay, with the clear sky prefect. Okay. So let's head to our camera and try out our skybox. Okay. So you see the our scene here. Very beautiful now. So you don't have to worry much if you bang into something, it's okay. Because this is a VR app for you to try. Okay. So you may be wondering how to move if I happen to be moving or how. Yeah, you guys can explore. So in the meantime, it's just a mouse click to move the character. So I hope you guys had learned something new here. If you have any requests on what kind of things that um what kind of things that we can focus on, you are welcome to share the comments. So in the meantime, so how to add the skybox? Okay, there are two ways. So first thing will be head to the main camera. Okay, and add the component called Skybox. Okay, find Skybox. So right now you don't have the material. Okay, so there are various ways, uh, not two ways, uh, various ways to add Skybox. So first, one thing will be head to the asset store as I showed you just now. And the other one is to create the material called Skybox. Okay, so let us add a new, a new one. Uh, create a new material. Okay, it's right below here at the plus sign. Okay, you can see this is the shader, not. Uh, skybox but if you happen to do anything related to this you are free to explore so right now we head to skybox and press the six-sided okay this reason why it's six-sided because it's uh, 360 and oh, hold on a sec let's press skybox and six-sided okay so because uh, I do not have any materials related to our skybox. But if you happen to have photos that you have been collected on how to say uh, on any forms of para paranormal view, okay, you are welcome to put inside here. Okay. So after you add the material, I just simply put okay, I just uh, maybe add this. Okay, like maybe you want to make a very nice room. As you can see below, uh, how you get to see the view in 360. Okay, so we add this. Okay, so the, our material is done. Then we rename it as wood style. Okay, wood style. So once we have done this, let's head back to our main camera. And you see this skybox, right? Okay, let's drag this into the material. Okay. So when you when you play it. Okay. So after you add the wood now inside, you will see the frame of your skybox. It is just like the wood color of it. Okay. 
this is just an example if you happen to have other nice view you are welcome to do so okay so we pause here um okay we just now i have this view that i found at the asset store okay uh, Now where did we put that? Uh? Okay, let's head back to our main camera. And then, okay, let's find it. Ah, uh, this clear sky, okay? So, okay. Welcome to subscribe my channel for more videos regarding to your first video game with Unity with Chikuya. Thanks for watching.